All right, welcome back to Indian Trace. This is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I think, at least I found an awesome serrated tip sticking up. I don't know if it's the whole thing. We're here at Mecca, a wonderful bluegill pond right here, which I absolutely love. It's a beautiful day, except that it's freezing. It's a, I just saw something. Hang on a second. I don't know what this is, but uh, you know how it is. You got to check it. Just quartz. So I came out to walk 15th time. Well, it might not be 15, but listen, I want you to join the hunt today with me. I'm going to go down here about uh, 50 yards or so, and then I'm going to turn around and go back up. I do have a marker at a, at a tip, like I said, a serrated rhyolite point. My nose is a little stuffy because uh, we're talking about 44 degrees, 32 wind chill, the wind's blowing, which just cuts through you. So I'm trying to keep my body heat. It's a matter of attrition in a place where I know there's a lot of artifacts. So bear with me. It's a little different. You see my shadow. I got a hat on today. And uh, we'll hope that that's a smoking point up there. I brought a great honor piece. It's actually one of my broken pieces that I keep in my office. But uh, I'm cold. It's one of those... Uh, attrition days meaning I only have a matter of time before I'm gonna lose just about all the body heat I can stand to lose today <laughs> and then I'll just need to run in but uh, it's worth the trip out especially if I find a, a nice artifact or a handful and I found a few as I said and here's another picture of it back here I have B&B &B feel which I just love Back there is back pass across the trees. We're talking about Mecca here. We're talking about Stone Hill down here. And so uh, we're in a good place. I had an awesome experience. I'll just share the story with you as we look around. And I look back up 50 yards, see my marker. We'll check it out, listen. But we might find something again. Might have another couple opportunities here to find some pieces. This is all sand, of course, as you know. Coastal Piedmont in North Carolina. And it's full of this kind of stuff. Quartz. Anywhere I turn, quartz. And uh, you know, you keep turning around and keep walking around. You just run into points here and there. You've seen me do it. Uh, it's gonna happen more as we keep live and we try to do uh, the join the hunts with Indian Trace. I'm gonna combine a find here. Uh, and I'm just hoping this will be the first real smoking point that I found on Join the Hunt. Thank you for so many great comments. And I have to talk loud. I'm trying to. If it gets blown out with the wind, bear wind the video. Hang in there. Enjoy it. Uh, shout out to Brian and to uh, many uh, friends. I don't know why. I don't know if I want to use all their names. Gosh, it's windy. I hope my voice is going to come in on this because I want this to work. I'm freezing. I can't do a whole lot more today. We're going to check some things out as we go. And uh, just hurting. So I don't want to have to try to do this more than once and I'm not going to do that. If this doesn't work out, that's a bummer. Too bad. I'm trying to warm up my hand on my chest. There's a lot of evidence around here lithic scatter i guess you'd call it i'm in i'm in the land and taking the walk of 10,000 variables really i mean that's that's just about what you're really facing you have about so many options to miss things and i'm convinced all the time that because of the nature of the way we focus and see things uh we miss things especially in great places that are the dirt is full a great analogy came in, uh, you know, about uh, I had some relatives over this weekend and we were talking about artifacts in the land on a good site. And uh, it was pretty interesting because uh, it's like flying over the ocean in a helicopter. You're going to see some fish. You might even see some fish surface or jump or what have you. You might even see some fish real close to the surface, just like artifacts. But, sure as you live, you know that beneath the surface, the ocean's full of fish. Full of them. And, uh, 
So, that's the way it is with an ancient Indian site or the land. Uh, if you know Indian sites of your own, maybe, or what have you, or you're a digger, there's tons more under the soil. And I always say that. It gives me hope as I hunt. Sometimes they surface, sometimes the weather conditions, and it's blowing so hard today. If this doesn't get blown out, I'll be surprised. I hope it doesn't mess up my audio. It has before. It has. Cuts right through you, I'm about frozen. Here's my marker up here, we'll check it out. First of all, watch something jump up right in front of me while I'm trying to get back to the sticking up and of course there's quartz there's pieces of rhyolite all around but can't pass out just checking something out like that right and I missed it tons of times look at this though and I want to make a comment of it here I found these two pieces Right here, Marl Mountain, another little Marl Mountain, basic field points, right? And I brought this with me. This is one of my favorite honor pieces. Look at that flint, new break, just happens, just happens. Look at that new break. And uh, look at what this piece would have been out here. Found from right where we are, I knew where I was coming today to check out, but look at the contrast of that rhyolite. Unbelievable, right? Beautiful. Let's see if I can get a better look at it. This is a beautiful piece. There we go. Something else, right? Now let's check this out. Oh, down here, the wind doesn't seem to be blowing so loud. Well, there's your point. Didn't even clean it off yet. Serrated. Little. Nice. Arrowhead. You and I, the first to see it. 4,000 years. Mercy, right? Mercy. Don't even care about being cold just for those initial moments of being able to discover a really great ancient Indian artifact. You found it live with me here on Indian Trace. Look at that setup. Good stuff here on Indian Trace. Okay, let's see what we can do here to get things gathered up. Anyway, joining the hunt here. Bear with me. We're going to go up a little bit more and maybe we'll find something else live. I'm trying to get some things in place. Trying not to let too much silence go by so people get bored out here. What you're looking at is uh, if you've been out here already with me or you know the channel, you know it's the east of North Carolina, coastal Piedmont. I'm looking at chips and everything as we go. Trying to stay warm. Just hang in there as I freeze. Okay, what's the point? Now I got my marker and everything, we're going. My trusty marker, I even wear mittens in there. I gotta wear mittens. It's freezing out here. Now, my voice hasn't got blown away. I'm just gonna go for it because I don't know what's happened to the audio on this. Oh my goodness. See, I'm seeing We'll see what we got. Some good points though. Uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm not going to harp too much today. I, I am going to put on there uh, 
of course, some political interest links because uh, it's part of the fiber of my collecting artifacts and part of the fiber of my life because uh, freedom here in this nation affords us the ability to, to find artifacts and collect them. I know some states and some jurisdictions try to clamp down on it. Try to clamp down on your right as a human being to walk the face of the earth and pick up rocks off the ground for God's sake. This, this wind, I'm sorry. If it's killing this audio, you got to stay out there with me. You got to stay on for a minute because maybe we'll find something. You know, if this, if this is Indian Trace and we're in Mecca, you know the possibility of finding an incredible artifact is here. And I hear the wind whipping now, so uh, don't bail off. I mean, uh, if you're going to join the hunt, you got to come out in the flat out cold wind too and hang in there with me. Uh, I know what the wind sounds like on an audio of a video and it drives me a little crazy, but just look at there. That down there, that's, see there? That's a nice tip. They're here, so let's let's see what we can do and bear with me for a couple more minutes. Uh, I'm not going to make a lot of direct points about a political aspect. This, this is nothing on my heart right now. A lot's going on. What I feel is a lot of great stuff, but if it's bad stuff, I know. There's a lot of BS and a lot of ugh, what I hate, which is deception and propaganda away from what is really happening. Uh, and there's, in my opinion, oh, checking a piece of rock out here, flipping it out. A lot of good stuff happening. Ugh. Hang on a second, I know I'm wagging you all over the place. I got a mitten that's loose. All right, all right, all right, all right. <sighs> it's worth it because uh, we found that smoker already on Join the Hunt and it's possible where I am that we'll walk up on something. Uh, well, that was nice. That's, that's even better, that's magnificent. You never know possible we won't find anything else but uh how do the folders work you know there that political interest folder does get refreshed and whatever i challenge you there's another incredible tip had to go to i mean to tell you the finger of the phone when i'm holding the phone right here is about to fall off it's cold enough so I'm going to quit this, and as soon as we get right back down here and I turn around, i got to get my other mitten on, and I'm going to have to get home. I'm going to have to get out of here. It's done. But, uh, like I said, check that out. Because, uh, to me, those, those uh, interest videos on political interest folder, I would never, never, never want to miss them myself. There's our nice pond. Never want to miss him myself. And uh, couldn't imagine if I didn't get that information, didn't get that perspective, didn't get the, the truth set up. And even global truth. To know how other nations and other peoples and other uh, uh, societies think about us, the United States of America. And uh, because we are an experiment, a young one still, a young nation. Listen. 250 years old, that's nothing compared to Italy, nothing compared to the Middle East or Germany or, uh, you know, Russia, nothing. They know we are uh, an infantile, we, excuse me, just infants as a nation. Sorry, I'm just dealing with the cold, dealing with the stuffy nose. Looking at my time now, I got good time, I can go back up. I'm not going to go real long, longer than my other join the hunts. But it might be just a crazy one, driving you crazy with all this wind. About to fall over or drop the phone because my finger's frozen off. Hey, no big deal. Somebody gets a smile or has some fun with it. Whew, I do know that with many people who tune in or go through or check out Indian Trace, many people cannot. Okay, I'll tell you the story. Let me tell you a fun story. Had some guests over, cousins and what have you, yesterday, and uh, they got talking about it. And a couple of them, they weren't artifacts, but they carry rocks around because they say, this, these are just awesome rocks I carry in my purse. They're, they're just so spiritual. I said, really cool. And so we merged the whole story. What's this? 
piece of flint about artifacts. So I ran out, brought them in a couple hammer stones, and immediately they could sense the energy in these hammer stones and just the, the human connection of artifacts just started, they it started to click with them. So I was able to offload a bunch of really great artifacts that they loved that are much too heavy just to send every day. I mean, some, some of the hammer stones and, and other things that uh, I've wanted to be able to have a good home for and I have needed to find somebody to take them off my hands. And uh, it just worked out where they were able to leave with a really great box of artifacts. And people who don't even get to go out and collect artifacts, it just, it, it clicked with them. They were my relatives. And, uh, you know, it was just a really good touch point to be able to share it with them and then get some of those out the door to a good home. That's what it's all about. So, all in all, just a couple fun things to talk about today and move forward on. I think up here, the wind's going to start whipping again when I get up over a ridge here. So I'm going to end it on a good note when it's a little bit quiet here. I hate to because, you know, I'm thinking I'm going to walk up on another great point or another great artifact where there's some really great looking quartz around. Variables have changed in the sand to reveal a little tip here, a little base there, just like the point we found live here. And uh, that's a good aspect. There's rhyolite and quartz everywhere. It's not indigenous, so of course we know that they were here. But uh, looking at my time, it's a good time to finish this off. I think when I get up here and turn around, that'll be the time. So uh, you can hope with me. Maybe we'll walk up on a, something that I've never seen and couldn't see before or just missed it. What else could I share with you as we finish up here? I hope the winners going by fast for everybody and uh, of course I always hope that in the most unexpected way you'll find some artifacts to be able to save them and, and collect them uh, to do your part with me because to me I, I sort of approach it as a duty as a solemn duty to do just what I can to find and save what I can. Like that smoke incinerated point that you saw just a little while back. Listen, uh, it's probably true that that could have stood a really great chance of just getting shredded, hit square with a 20,000 pound rototill that goes through here. Uh, and I'm glad that's not gonna happen now. I'm sure glad that's not gonna happen now. All right, all right. Checking everything out, looking at some good countryside. I think that'll be about it. As I get myself turned around up here, I'm seeing fry light and flint all the time, so I'm just like, well, I don't want to turn this off. But really, it's just a walk about, a talk about here on Indian Trace, to talk about the perspectives of ancient Indian artifacts. I mean, if we find something, hey, that's a bonus. A couple people shouted out and said, hey, I don't care if you find something. It's just, it was good to be outside and to check it out in the country that you're in. So, I'm going to finish it at that. Really great view there. And a great view of B&B. Hope everybody does great. Look at how the sun's shifting. And hope you find out there. You be well.